The matter of the man-child is dear to the heart of God and holds a cardinal place in the remedial plan of God for the creation. In 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 11, the Bible says, And Hannah vowed a vow, and said, O Jehovah of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thy handmaid, and remember me, and not forget thy handmaid, but wilt give unto thy handmaid a man-child, then I will give him unto Jehovah all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. This scripture gives us a glimpse into the identity of the man-child utilizing topology. The man-child is certainly a promised son, dedicated thoroughly to Jehovah, and lives on the Nazarite vow of separation unto God. John, the beloved apostle, brings us to speed on the personality of the man-child in Revelation 12 verse 5. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God, and to his throne. We see the designation of the man-child to be a ruling class. The man-child rules with a rod of iron, this is the purpose of God. Revelation 20 verse 4 further throws light on the identity of this corporate personality known as the man-child. Then I saw the thrones, and those seated on them had been given authority to judge. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their testimony of Jesus and for the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or its image, and had not received its mark on their foreheads or hands and they came to life and reign with Christ for a thousand years. The man-child reigns with Christ in the age of perfection. The millennium. The man-child we see is constituted of the overcomers. The means by which they became overcomers is revealed briefly in Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. They are the ones that carry the witness of Jesus, which is the spirit of prophecy in their generation. Furthermore, John, the apostle, reveals the workings and identity of the overcomer's company, who are the man-child in Revelation 17 verse 14. They will wage war against the Lamb, and the Lamb will triumph and conquer them, because he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and those who are with him and on his side are called and chosen and faithful. They are the company that have come through the stages of being called, through being chosen and now stand in the rank of the faithful. They are the one who will reign victoriously with Christ. Child of God, understand that all in the church are called, yet few will be chosen. Concerning the chosen few, the caucus will stand firm and true in their divine mandates in all faithfulness as God's stewards to become the faithful. It is the faithful that will become the man-child company birthed by the church.